me show you how you can blend in any kind of object, the background image in Blender. And in the process of doing so, we also go to learn to create a rock structure, a really cool and easy rock material. And then we're just gonna blend it all into Blender. So if you could like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And let's just uh, skydive into this thing here. Okay, so let's uh, set up our scene really quick here. So I'm just going to go A, X, and delete. I'm going to go Shift, A. And I'm going to bring in a camera. I'm going to set the rotation here to zero. Now I want to bring in the plane for this uh, Canyon PNG image. So I'm just going to go mesh and plane. Rotate it around like that. Go into camera view. So now we can go and open up or change the timeline to the shader editor and click new. And go shift A and bring in an image texture. And just before we bring it in, I can show you. So I got this uh, on pixabay.com. So it is this just a great little free site with uh, no copyright claims. So you can just go and download whatever you want and use it. So I'm using this Canyon image here. And yeah, it is on the first site page. So let's bring it in. And I'm going to connect the color into the base color. And we're also going to open up the emission here and connect the color into the color like that. So let's uh, change the surroundings as well. So we're going to go to render, change this from EV to cycles and turn on GPU compute. Then go down to the world and we're going to use a sky texture. So click on this little yellow dot bring in a sky texture we're going to set this to 0 0.4 and um, now if we go into the shader view here or the render view as well we can see that this needs to be a little bit more bright so let's increase the strength of this um, uh, png image so we can set this to 4 as well maybe to three like that and now it's bright and ready to go so um, let's start off creating this simple but really cool looking rock and let's make this rock blend nicely into the background so we're just gonna go mesh and cube and uh, we can scale it on the C four times like that and we're going to go into edit mode and we're just going to bring in some loop cuts so I'm going to go for four like that and now we're going to go over to the modifier tab and we're going to add a modifier and we're going to go to generate and we're going to use a subdivision surface and we're going to put this to three or four this really doesn't matter the, the number here because uh, this material that we are going to use uh, are non-destructive. But um, in some other regards that we're not going to get into, it matters. So let's just go to um, the next modifier that we're going to use. So we're going to use uh, displace. So go to deform and displace. And click on new and click on this weird icon here and change this to clouds and now we can sort of like fine-tune the style of this rock here I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller so we can see what we're doing I 
I think I will go for something like that. And I'm also going to make it a little bit wider. And a nice way to do that is just click S, hold down Shift, and click plus on your keyboard, and then click C. Then you can scale it in the middle like this. So um, maybe something like that is fine. And now we can get going with this really awesome and easy and useful rock material. So let's just click new in the shader editor and we're going to bring in a noise texture. And we're going to bring in a color ramp. And we're just going to duplicate this color ramp like that. And we're also going to bring in a bump node. So this bump node is what's creating a, an illusion of uh, depth into this rock here. So let's uh, connect the noise into the factor of the color ramp the color into the base color of this principal BSDF and the factor into the factor of the color ramp and the color into the height of the bump and uh, we're gonna do the normal into the normal like that so now if we bring up the detail here all the way we can see that we already have a nice rocky material and we can also fine-tune the scale a little bit and we can bring the roughness a little bit up if we bring the roughness all the way up this is going to start to look like a, like a tree uh, instead of a rock uh, so we're going to just going to keep it there and uh, just to show you on this color and pair you bring in this value you're gonna create this effect here so you can just bring it in like that and we can click on the plus icon on this color ramp and now if you go into the shader view here it's a little bit hard to see when you're working in cycles and that is a little bit annoying but it is what it is so now we have this uh, rock here and um, the key here to make this uh, rock to blend in with the other rocks is uh, a couple of steps so the first step is to click on this color ramp and click on this value and use the eyedropper tool and just select uh, some of the colors on your png file so like this okay i'm sorry if you hear some tv noise in the background i'm still on uh, a little trip here in uh, spain so i'm sitting on, on a hotel doing this but we're just gonna roll with it so i'm bringing it in like that and here you can just fine tune make this in the style that you want so let's see if we go into render view we're gonna have this rock here and obviously this doesn't look great at all yet um, but what we can do is um, bringing up so you can see that this rock has some kind of shine to it so we want it to be a little bit more metallic and um, the real key here is to go to this world properties and using this uh, Nishita sky texture so we want we want this world here the surroundings to be having the same color as the PNG file or the PNG the rocks here so let's just bring up the air and hold down shift so now you can see that the world is getting a more orange color and this will affect the look on this rock 
so we can bring that up and bring down the dust i'm also just going to bring down this black value here this color ramp and still this doesn't look a little bit hard to see but still doesn't look really good and so let's also use the sun rotation and if you look onto this png picture here you can see that the sun are coming in from back and a little bit into the side because you can see on these rocks has some glare on this side so let's just rotate this uh, this around and just make it fit this definitely doesn't need to be perfect at all the only goal here is to make this rock to stand out but not to stand out so to blend in with these uh, other rocks and so we also you can see that uh, these rocks also have a like a wavy feel to it and they also been eating up from sun and environment and all that so if we go into the edit mode here just uh, go to edge select by clicking 2 and then go shift alt and then just select this edge loop and bring in the rock like that So now this rock instantly look more deformed and cooler. So now my hotel neighbors here, uh, they are making noise every night. And, <laughs> and uh, now it's morning in Spain and they are probably at any moment now going to start arg arguing. So... I think it's time for me to get uh, finished with this uh, tutorial here. But the key takeaway here is using this color ramp and use this color picker tool to click on this um, uh, to get these colors. And also, you need to sort of experiment and fine tune this uh, Nishita sky texture to get the rock. To really blend in with this PNG background like that. So this is okay, but if you work on it more, it will just look way better. So um, yeah, and if you can like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Have a great day wherever you are, and uh, peace out.